Well, this is a plaque my late father gave to me many years ago. And on the plaque is a picture of him, right in the middle, holding his firearm, surrounded by his fellow freedom fighters. This picture was taken in the summer of 1944 when they were liberated by the Russian army. And my father and his fellow freedom fighters fought the Nazis for many years in their native Poland. Unfortunately, his family was killed during the Holocaust. All his family members were killed. My mother's family members were killed. And so they were the only ones to survive. So I never got a chance to know my grandparents, never got to know my aunts and uncles. And because of that, I never had any first cousins. And so this plaque has special meaning in my life. And so when we came to the United States in 1949, soon thereafter my parents became United States citizens. And in 1959, I became a United States citizen. And I took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And I read the Constitution, and I read the Bill of Rights. And the Second Amendment states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And one of our great founding fathers, Samuel Adams, wrote, the Constitution should, shall never be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceable citizens from keeping their own arms. In other words, the Second Amendment is one of those bedrock principles of America, the right of the people to protect themselves from domestic aggressors and foreign aggressors. And so when I'm in the United States Senate, after I've taken the oath of office to protect the, the Constitution of the United States for the second time in my life, I will be the champion of the Constitution and I will protect the Bill of Rights, especially the Second Amendment, because of the meaning it has, the right to keep and bear arms.